At the Royal Burger Zoo in Armhem, everybody was concerned. Mama, the 59-year-old chimpanzee matriarch, hadn't eaten in days. Her decline was swift. Time was running out. In the midst of this quiet chaos, a familiar voice was about to make all the difference. Mama was more than just another animal at the Royal Burger Zoo in Arnheim. She was a legend, the reverend matriarch of a thriving chimpanzee colony. But as Mama aged, her health began to decline. Despite the best efforts of the zookeepers and veterinarians, her condition worsened. Finally, she stopped eating. The zoo staff was heartbroken. They had seen the 59-year-old chimpanzee overcome severe struggles over the years and couldn't bear the thought of her passing away like this. Unfortunately, it was the course of nature, and they could do very little but keep her comfortable as she slowly let herself expire. The worst part for them was knowing that Mama would never understand the huge impact she'd had on their lives in the world as a whole, born in the wild. Mama had been part of groundbreaking research on primate behavior since she arrived at the zoo. The 59-year-old chimpanzee ended up in captivity as part of the larger conservation efforts to protect her species. Mama was orphaned at a young age due to poaching activities. She was rescued by conservationists and brought to the Royal Burger Zoo in Arnhem, the Netherlands. Here, she became a central figure in primate behavior research at the zoo. Mama quickly adapted to her new environment. She naturally formed strong bonds with both her fellow chimpanzees and the humans who cared for her. She became the matriarch of the chimpanzee colony and played a crucial role in maintaining a social harmony and teaching younger chimps essential survival skills. Her intelligence and gentle demeanor made her a favorite among the zoo staff and visitors. Mama's life in captivity was vastly different from the wild but it provided her with a safe haven and opportunities to contribute to scientific understanding and conservation efforts. Her intelligence, leadership, and nurturing nature made her an invaluable subject for studies. She featured prominently in those led by renowned primatologist, Professor Jan van Hoof. John van Hoove first met Mama in 1972 when he co-founded the chimpanzee colony at the zoo. From their initial encounter, a unique bond formed between the young scientist and the charismatic chimpanzee. Jan's visit to the zoo were a regular occurrence over the years. He became not just a researcher, but a friend to Mama. Their relationship was one of mutual respect and deep affection built over countless hours of observation, interaction, and quiet companionship. The news of Mama's deteriorating health reached John in April 2016, now retired. He had kept in touch with the zoo and followed the developments in the colony closely. Hearing about Mama's refusal to eat in her weakened state struck a chord with him. He knew he had to visit her one last time. Jan's decision to visit was driven by more than just scientific curiosity. It was a personal mission. He wanted to pay his respects to a creature who had not only been a subject of his research, but also a significant part of his life. John hoped his presence might provide some comfort to Mama, who had given so much to the scientific community and to him personally. The thought of her suffering alone was unbearable as he traveled. Jan's mind wandered through the years. He remembered the first time he saw Mama, a curious and energetic chimpanzee who quickly established herself as the leader of the colony. Her intelligence and social skills had made her an invaluable subject for his research and her presence had always been a source of inspiration. He thought about the countless hours he had spent observing her, taking notes and learning about chimpanzee behavior. Mama had taught him more than any textbook ever could. She had shown him the complexities of chimpanzees' society, the depth of their emotions and the strength of their bonds. Their relationship had transcended the boundaries of researcher and subject, evolving into a deep friendship built on mutual respect and affection. Jan's hope was that his visit could rekindle that connection. He wanted to be there for Mama in her final days, to offer her the comfort of a familiar presence as he neared the zoo. He knew that this visit was not just for her sake, but for his own as well. It was a chance to say goodbye, to honor the bond they had shared, and to provide her with a sense of peace. John arrived at the Royal Burger Zoo with some trepidation. He had spent the journey reflecting on his memories with Mama, 
hoping that their deep bond would help her in some way. The staff greeted him warmly and led him to her enclosure. She lay motionless. Her frail body was a stark contrast to the vibrant and commanding presence she once had. Jan took a deep breath and called out to her mama, It's me, Jan. I've come to see you. For a moment there was no response. The chimpanzee remained still. Her eyes were closed, as if she were already halfway gone. Jan's heart sank. He called out again, this time louder, Mama, it's Jan. Do you remember me? You! The staff watched with bated breath, hoping for a sign of recognition. But Mama didn't stir. The reality of her condition hit them all at once. Jan felt a lump in his throat. Had he come too late? Had their bond faded in her weakened state, determined not to give up, Jan decided to try a different approach. He remembered a song he used to hum during his visits. It was a simple melody that had always seemed to soothe her. Gathering his emotions, he began to sing softly. The tune was familiar, a nostalgic echo of the countless hours they had spent together. As the melody filled the air, a miracle happened. Mama's ears twitched, then her eyes fluttered open. She looked around a little confused at first, then slowly turned her gaze toward Jan. Recognition sparked in her eyes. It was the faintest glimmer of the connection they once shared. The staff gasped in surprise. Despair suddenly gave way to hope. Jan continued to sing. Mama's expression softened. Tears welled up in Jan's eyes as he stepped closer. Still singing, he reached out and gently touched her hand. The sight of Jan and Mama reconnecting was nothing short of miraculous. The staff who had been on the verge of losing hope felt a renewed sense of optimism. Jan's familiar voice in the song had pierced through the fog of Mama's decline and brought her back to them, even if only for a moment. Her eyes were tired and weary, but in that brief moment they shone with a spark of recognition and affection. She gripped Jan's hand with that little strength she had. Jan continued to sing. Mama's eyes met his. She blinked slowly as if trying to clear the fog from her mind. The staff watched from a respectful distance and held their breath. Jan continued to sing and speak to her. He recounted stories from their past and talked about the early days when he first met her, about the playful antics of her younger years and the time she had demonstrated remarkable intelligence and empathy. His words were like a lifeline that pulled Mama back from the brink. Suddenly, Mama's hand twitched. It was a small movement, but it did not go unnoticed. Jan paused as singing for a moment. Encouraged by the response, he leaned in closer. His eyes locked on hers. You remember, don't you, Mama? He said softly. We've been through so much together with a Herculean effort. Mama lifted her other hand and weakly reached out towards Jan. The movement was slow and unsteady, but it was unmistakable. A collective gasp rose from the staff as they witnessed the moment of profound connection. Tears streamed down their faces. Jan gently took Mama's hand in his. He was aware of the fragile grip of her fingers. It was a small gesture, but it spoke volumes about their bond. I'm here, Mama. He reassured her. You're not alone. Her eyes softened some more. She squeezed Jan's hand, weakly, silently, acknowledging his presence in their shared history. The spark of life and emotional connection was clear for all to see. Jan resumed his singing. Mama's eyes never left him. Her grip on his hand even tightened slightly. It was as if his presence and the familiar melody had reignited a will to fight, to hold on a little longer. The staff watched in awe. An incredible scene was unfolding before them. Jan's determination and the power of his bond with the chimpanzee had achieved what they had feared was impossible. Mama was responding. It felt like a miracle. The emotional connection between them was palpable. They had never seen this kind of bond between a human and an animal. As Jan continued to sing and talk to her, Mama's response grew stronger. She began to move her head slightly. She followed his voice and her eyes regained a bit of their former brightness. This sudden improvement brought a wave of hope to the staff. They had feared the worst, but now there was a tangible sign that Mama was not ready to give up. The atmosphere in the enclosure shifted from despair to cautious optimism. The caregivers, 
inspired by Mama's response, renewed their efforts to comfort and support her. Interestingly, Mama's positive interaction with Jan also had an impact on the other chimpanzees in the colony. They had been noticeably distressed by Mama's decline for days. Their behavior had been subdued and anxious. But as they observed Jan's interaction with Mama, a collective emotional shift occurred. The other chimpanzees began to display signs of curiosity and engagement. They approached the enclosure's boundary, vocalized softly, and reached out towards Yan and Mama. The sense of community and mutual support among the chimpanzees was astonishing to behold. Then, something unexpected happened, as Jan gently stroked Mama's hand he noticed her glancing toward a particular corner of her enclosure. Following her gaze, he saw a small pile of straw and leaves. It was slightly disturbed as if something had been hidden there. Intrigued, Jan carefully approached the spot and began to sift through the straw. To his surprise, he uncovered a hidden stash of food. They were pieces of fruit, nuts, and even some primate biscuits. It was clear that Mama had been saving this food. She tucked it away for a moment when she might need it. This discovery was both astonishing and deeply moving. It indicated that despite her outward appearance of resignation, Mama had not completely given up. Jan shared his discovery with the staff, and their reactions mirrored his own. The hidden stash of food was evidence of Mama's resilience and intelligence. It was a reminder that even in her weakened state, she had the instinct to prepare and preserve her resources. This revelation added a new layer of depth to their understanding of Mama's behavior and her fight to stay alive. The staff quickly incorporated this newfound knowledge into their care strategy. They offered Mama small portions of her favorite foods to ensure that she had the strength to continue interacting with Jan. The other chimpanzees sensed the positive energy and became more animated and engaged. Their antics suddenly started to further lift the spirits of everyone involved. As the days passed, Mama's interactions with Jan continued to bring subtle but significant improvements in her condition. She began eating small amounts of food from her hidden stash, and her energy slowly returned. The staff observed these changes with astonishment. Mama's will to survive seemed intrinsically linked to John's presence. One afternoon, as Jan sat with Mama, gently talking and reminiscing about their years together, a thought struck him with profound clarity. Mama's hidden stash of food, her renewed interest in eating and her responsiveness, it all pointed to a remarkable realization. Mama had been holding on to a final reserve of energy because she was waiting for his visit. She had not given up entirely because deep down, she knew he would come for her. This epiphany hit Jan with an overwhelming wave of emotion. Tears filled his eyes as he looked at Mama. He suddenly understood the depth of their bond in her incredible awareness. She had saved her strength, knowing that their connection was a source of comfort and hope. The staff, too, felt the weight of this revelation. The realization brought a profound sense of purpose to them all. They were not just caring for an old chimpanzee. They were honoring a friendship that had spanned decades, a relationship built on trust, respect, and mutual understanding. Mama's resilience in her decision to hold on for Jan's visit showcased the incredible depth of her emotions and intelligence in her final days. Mama found peace and comfort in Jan's presence. His visit brought her a sense of security and familiarity that transcended her physical decline. The sight of her responding to his voice and her eyes filling with recognition and affection was a source of immense solace for Jan. It was clear that their bond had given her the strength to hold on and find comfort in her last moments. Mama's passing was peaceful and dignified. She was surrounded by the sounds of the colony and the gentle presence of Jan. When she finally drifted away, Mama left behind a legacy that would be remembered for years to come. Her life had been a cornerstone of primate research, and her interactions with Jan had highlighted the depth of emotion and intelligence in chimpanzees. The zoo organized a celebration of Mama's life. They brought together staff, researchers, and the local community to honor her legacy. Stories were shared about her remarkable contributions to science, her leadership within the colony, and the incredible bond she had with Jan. It was a heartfelt tribute to a life that had touched so many. 
John spoke at the celebration. Mama was more than a subject of research. She was a friend. She taught us about the complexities of chimpanzee society, the depth of their emotions, and the strength of their bonds. Her legacy will live on in the work we continue to do, inspired by her life and the connections we shared. The impact of Mama's story extended beyond the zoo. It reached people around the world and inspired a deeper appreciation for chimpanzees in the scientific community and the need for conservation and ethical research. Her final days, comforted by Jan's presence in the support of her colony, were a clarion call for the need to conserve these magnificent cousins of ours. As John and the zoo staff moved forward, they carried with them the lessons and inspiration that Mama had given them. Her story would continue to guide their work. Today, the future of primate research and conservation is bright. It is fueled by the legacy of a remarkable chimpanzee named Mama. Have you ever had the privilege of observing a group of chimpanzees? If so, tell us about it in the comments. We'd love to hear your story for now. Though we're out of here, catch you in the next video.